So now, if we were going to go down this hill again, what we'll do is we'll do a nice big arc. What we don't want to be doing, we never want to be doing big arcs and coming in really close to the edge of the hill. We want to get ourselves nice and set up early, so then by the time we're here, we're already straight, so we can then just go down and then we'll come back and do it again. So we're going to be doing a nice big arc. Once we get to this point, we want to be at speed level one, so we've got full control. Say you're going out to speed level five and you're caught on this, you have to stop instantly. That's when you can skid, or if a cat ran out in front of you and you need to stop quickly. That's why we always go to speed level one. It's a bit like when you're going in car gears, you know, down a hill and you're going through second, third, second, before you hit a junction. It's all about being in control. I'll tell you what we'll also do. I'm going to shout halfway down there randomly. I'm going to tell you to stop. And I want you just to take your hand off and trust in the chair and stop. Whether you're on a down slope or an up slope, you've got your 0.5 second delay, and that will be you stop. Um, no. I'll tell you actually something this chair will even do, it's even more. Right, hold on. There's very, very few chairs. I'm going to actually come back this way to spin. Even spin at 180 on a down slope, and I'll tell you what, there are very few chairs in the world that can do that. That's how, that's how capable it is. Most chairs would just slip. Shall I teach you how to do curves now? Yeah. Okay, so there's a curve here. I'm going to talk about it in principle. So if you kind of make your way around here, I'm going to teach you the way of doing it first, and then I'm going to do it with you so you feel nice and safe. So these chairs in forward front mode can go up to curves about like this, forward. If you want to go up anything steeper, you simply reverse that bit. So the analogy I always use, um, a 4x4 four four is always going to mount a curve easier than a Mini Cooper because it's got much larger wheels. So if you can't go up something forward, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to bounce. If that happens, spin yourself around, set yourself always square and simply reverse up and you can get up that easily. Going off it forward, you could go off full size curve to this or even up to this and you can literally fly off them. So first of all, just go up the... and you always want to try and take a square on. If you try and go up to the corner of this one, Start where you're being a bit too overactive with the joystick, so rather than pushing it with the head, it's literally tilt and tilt and tilt. Plus you tilt the whole screen. If you're just tilting, you're going to have control and actually physically pushing it from side to side. That's where you're getting that sway. I'll do it with you for the first time so you get an idea of what it feels like. Up 
So did you see how I wasn't quite square when I went up here the first yeah. time? If you're not square, your wheels will get stuck. But if you're square, you'll always be able to come on and off. The trick of coming off curves is what you don't want to do is come up so slowly you have that but um but um feel like the front wheels, back wheels, the medium pace just go through it and you'll fly up in a much smoother manner. So I'm now going to teach you about wheelchair safety. Say I want to get from point A to point B. Do you see there's a bit of a brain tent here? The one thing wheelchairs have a bit of an arch nemesis with are uh, uh, campers. This wheelchair would do a camber like that, standing on its head. But if you ever came across something much steeper, you have to kind of plan your route out and kind of make it work. Because where it's so light, because rear wheel drive and front wheel independent, the front wheels can sometimes go if the slope's big enough towards the end where the direction of the slope's going. So what I'd do in this situation, I'd say, does my camber look bigger here? Or does it look steeper here? To me, it looks much steeper here. So what I'd do at this point is I'd come to where you are, I'd stop here, I'd go across here so I'm always going straight, I'm always doing my right angle as well as my curves. I'd turn my 90 degrees, I'm going down this way. That way I would reach from point A to point B, I'm always going straight, I'm always stopped, I'm always turned, and I'm always completely in control and safe. It will actually go from point A to point B at the diagonal, but there are going to be times where you've got such steep uh, campers where it's just not going to be able to do it. That way you're always going straight and always going forward. You know, like I said, if you're going to go down uh, hill, you can always do it head, head on. Even if it means you have to go a bit like the tap in the boat, even if you have to go a bit like this. So, like that. It's your destination, it's far, far safer to try to tap it crossways. This will show you fine, but what you'll find in this, even with some of the roads, spoil wheel wheelchairs, trying to do that, you'll just start slipping like that diagonally, but down because the wheels are covered the grip, they're too small, the chairs are too light. So what we've got here is we've got a, a bit of a right to left camber and then this side, if you're coming back on it, we've got a left to right camber. So what I want you to do is I want you to follow down this here, stop dead here, do our 90 degrees, stop dead here, do our 90 degrees and carry on so we're sticking within this square. Um, I'm going to be around you the whole time so you've got no worries of hitting your car or doing anything. But the way you take this is rather than pressing forward, if I've got a right to left camber, you then want to press slightly to the right. So you're basically going up in the diagonal to combat it, just steering against the camber. So if we stick to speed level one, just we're in control, and I'm going to do it, I'm going to be on the inside of you so you feel safe all the time. I just want you to follow that very gently alongside the curve, stop when I say stop, turn when I say turn. take a camber and the same principle would apply if you're going along a camber like this as well. This has got quite a steep left to right and this would absolutely get across here. No problem at all where a lot of wheelchairs would just fall into the road. So what you'd do at this point is you'd do a left diagonal um, to steer on the joystick. And that's basically that's kind of it really. It's just I mean if you drop it that way it's just easy, isn't it? It's just confident with it. Yeah. I think whichever one you use you get used to this. So that's the difference between us compared to everyone else. We've got the biggest stock of anyone in the UK, up to 170 wheelchairs normally, so we've got stock of everything. We're the second biggest brand in the UK actually. Just, just in case you didn't know. 
Yeah, 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 literally how I, I pull it out of a box, I put the joystick on, I'll take, pull back the graphics, they're pressing you, and that's it. Ready to take away today. Well, I've the box. The hoist is in the Yeah, yeah, so that you'll get that with the hoist. That's a hoist. Yeah, that's to do with the hoist, not the chair. Yeah, yeah, that's all part of the the hoist um, system. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's got nothing really. To, it has stuff to do with chairs, but it's part of the hoist system, not the chair. Yeah. 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 So there's a couple of options you can do. So some people will simply have it like that. Yeah. Other people have it so. Because you've just got quite a big thing, I'm not that so used to that, but say you had a smaller end, what a lot of people do is some, um, you know uh, like aerosol cans or jojo cans and you've got the little lid that pops off, so you get a little black one which it looks nicer, put a bit of double sided um, sticky tape or those kind of um, little rubbery, uh, little, little square, rubbery kind of squares with a sticky tape on either side, so you could then stick one thing to that, tap on top of that, the stick then goes in here and you, and you then attach it to the side of here with velcro. And that, yeah. so many of my customers use that method because it's what it costs about here. what it costs fifty feet. Well, that will be so it might go in. Oh if it folds up it may well do. It doesn't even matter actually if you rest it on that top bit, it's not gonna go anywhere. You can rest it on top of that battery bar to here.